Look at them. Classic legend. Yeah. They are so nerdy. They are they are going crazy over the classic mini. Classic mini. So in a half hour we have um, gone to the post office, gone on the bus, gone down to an internet cafe, printed out Heather's resume, and now we're waiting at the bus to go back home so Heather can finish getting ready. How does that make you feel? Panic. Panic? <laughs> Panic. No, I'm okay. Well, and then, okay. on a side note, we have a playground over here with the pyramid set up where you, cool you mount the pyramid probably. and then go down the slides. I probably look like a creeper filming a kid's playground, but hey, there's no kids there, so it's all good. Look at the people run. Look at the people run. People are running. Look at Heather smile. Look, she's smiling. She doesn't know any better. <laughs> she doesn't know any better. So we're on the way over to Nisa Local, which is this little local market to see if they have stuff because Heather wants to make cornbread, which apparently does not exist here. So, we have to see if we can find it. See, this right here is how she gets hurt. She walks up there off the path, next to the little beach. See the beach? I, I don't even know what that was. I don't even know what that was. Was that you running or you doing a little turn on the catwalk? Swimming. Yeah, swimming. It looks like you're doing your catwalk. That's my catwalk. It's a horrible catwalk. That's why I'm not on the catwalk. Club 55, the upscale version of Club 33. We are still on the hunt for cornmeal. <laughs> Nico, Nisa local. That's why it is. Nisa local. Nisa local. Did not have it. So we are on the way to Asda to check again. They probably won't have it either though. The website has it, which means they probably won't have it in store. <laughs> we'll have to order it. Huh? We'll have to order it. Have we'll it shipped. Ha yes, we'll have to order it, have it shipped, and then have, cor have cornbread, uh, I don't know, in like three weeks? Sounds about right. I don't know, you got your mouse pretty fast. My mouse was through Amazon, not Asda. Okay. Heather made chili and cornbread, and you can smell it all the way upstairs. She's downstairs right now, socializing with, I believe, Lisa and Roxana. So, we got a we got a ghost in front of the light now. We got some pumpkins and spiderwebs getting into the Halloween spirit. Yeah, but after the wedding, maybe. <laughs> Homemade chili and cornbread. <laughs> I hope it's worth it. <laughs> Wanna say hi? Hi. The summer for mate Lisa. I don't know if you've been on camera yet. No, not yet. I've yeah. seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we have the video up on on our I post them on well, I share them. He posts them on his Facebook, but I share them so you can Yay. see just our random adventures. Nineteen hours. 25 minutes left. Currently at 10 pounds with 350 for shipping. Six bids. And the item is the iPhone that I cannot fix. They are going for about 70 to 100 pounds broken that don't turn on. And one pound is about 150, 160 in US dollars. So a little more than a dollar and a half per pound. So that's almost 20. Almost $20 for a broken phone that does not turn on. Let's hope I get more. Let's hope. Look at that little smile. She's like, seriously? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you filming me? I'm laying down. She's always laying down. Always laying down. Always laying down and glaring. God. She's supposed to be reading this. Well, it's a text. Look at all that text. She's supposed to be reading that, but it's boring. So what's she doing? She's going online. 
going online. Yeah. Because that's boring. That's fun. And that's boring. And there's the phone. And there's Heather. Okay, so let's see. Um, today is pretty much over. Ooh, that's bright. Look at that. Look at the light. I think the light's what makes everything look so funky. Look at that coloring. So, oh my god. <laughs> the day is over. We we had chili and cornbread, which you saw, I think. And um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty random day. Didn't really do much. Just everyday things, which I'm sure you've seen a lot of by now. Everyday things. Um, Heather's mom should be coming in tomorrow morning. So we shall be seeing her for the next week, four days worth of videos. Five. Five days worth of videos. And I believe one of them is something. And another day is something else. It will be crazy. Um, but yeah, that's all. Um, hope you had fun watching us. And enjoy the epic tale of the two adventurers that's going to follow this clip. Have a good night. And so, the weather takes a turn for the worse. With gray skies and choppy seas, our young sailors set out to sea. And this is all that is left of the ship that they set sail in. From their broken ship to this lonely beach is where they washed up. They tried to use the local minerals and materials to build crafts to travel the water. Unfortunately, this one was too heavy and full of holes. Hiding in the bushes, they witnessed locals and their mysterious chant of play. Unfortunately, they're too scared to make any form of contact. So they continue their journey onward to find help and a hope to find a way home. And trekking through thick forest late at night, our young adventurers find themselves lost. After spending many hours wandering the vast wilderness through the jungle, they find themselves back where they began. In one last attempt, they attempt to swim home. Will they make it? We may never know. Good luck, weary travelers.